All right, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Friday, um, Friday, August 26th, 2011. Our trading day today was, well, the markets moved around a lot. Unfortunately, I had a tough time this morning. I was going back and forth and back and forth. On the ES, I was up 17 ticks at one point, and I I ended the morning session up just uh, up just one tick on the ES. You'll see that right here. Plus one tick on the ES. All right, I didn't take this trade right here a minute ago. I marked it up. I was actually long right here. Um, that's why I had a little bit of a delay. I was long right here, and I got a, I took a break even on that because it um, it just didn't look right. Um, it wasn't. It started to fall apart after the fact. Is what had happened. Um, now over here on the YM, I also took. I only took two trades on the YM this morning. I think. Yeah, I missed a beautiful trade this morning. I missed a couple of trades, actually. Um, right at the open. Or right near the open. I'll show you the beautiful trade we missed. We went over this in the partners meeting last night. But uh, right here, um, we pulled back up here, and we had divergence down here. This was a perfect opportunity to sell, and this, the price would have been 78, and it dropped all the way down. Well, it dropped 81. In this move right here, it dropped... Uh, Sorry, um, 71, uh, 71 ticks down to 11.07. Obviously, it kept on going down. There were more opportunities in there, but that was the first one that I had noticed that I had missed. Um, there was another one right here, shorting right into the weekly trading zone. You know, shorting down to the weekly trading zone, I should say, um, after the bearish cross. Uh, moving over this way, we had a bullish cross. Right in here was an opportunity. I didn't get filled. Um... I tried to get filled on that. It missed me by a tick. Um, over here was another opportunity. I did get filled on this one, um, and I got stopped out for seven ticks on it. Over here was the last one that I that I went long on. Um, we had the bullish cross and the pullback down to the BBC. I went long right over here. I ended up taking a break even on it after it put ten, 10 points into it. I put my stop up to break even, and it came back and got my stop and then moved up to the 20 tick profit target. Um, and from there, it just kept going up. All right, right now we have a nice trade setting up right here. I'm going to try to enter this trade at uh, 50. I'm going to try to enter it at 60. I'm going to put an order on here at 60 right now, so we can let that one go. Um, now this was my trade here, my trading. Dwayne put a trade on this morning um, toward the end of the uh, toward the end of the morning session. Dwayne had put a trade on right here. He mentioned in the room. In the live trading room it went short for two points from right here to right here. So I, I gained one tick. What everybody saw me gain is one tick. But what actually um what actually what actually transpired in the room was a little more than that. Okay, there was another uh another eight ticks in there. I was up uh plus seventeen ticks at one point, but uh but I gave it back. It was uh, a little bit choppy. I'll go over the trades that I took too. Over here on the ES, I'll scroll back a little bit. And I'll show you there were a bunch that I missed and a bunch that I took. Um, I got, let me try to scroll it over for you. Okay, you can see, you can see how I was getting it and giving it back a bit this morning. Um, let's see. All right, this was, yeah, this was the open this morning. I missed this trade right here. This was, um, a nice pullback right here that I missed, uh, then after that, it was into this uh, weekly trading zone, so we weren't going to do anything else with it. Okay. Um, on the long side, we didn't go in over here because it was right at the uh, right at the extension. Okay. Over here, we broke down below the weekly trading zone, but we didn't pull back far enough to get the short trade. Um, for those of you who were following the divergent stuff, those of you who are partners who know what I'm talking about, were following the divergent stuff. There was a short trade here. There was a long trade here. Um, long trade was over here. Sorry, I said that too fast. Long trade was over here, and the short trade was over here. Okay. Um, after that, there was just a lot of nothing was going on right in here. It was going going sideways, and it wasn't really triggering any trades for us, okay? Um, I didn't like this in here because I wanted to get a lower swing. Lower than that, we finally get the lower swing over here, um, but we didn't have a bubble for it, so I didn't take anything over there. Same thing here. Over here, we had nothing. It was just pretty messy right up until about 10 o'clock. Now at 10 o'clock, 
Um, a lot of this stuff that you see right in here, it happened really quickly when the notes that from Bernanke's speech came out. Um, a lot of that stuff happened really quickly. The market was jumping all over the place and was difficult to trade. All right, I did take a short over here on the pullback up to the uh, BBC. All right, I took a short for a couple of points there. Then it was just messy in here again. All right, all the way through here, I didn't take any of these trades. Um, I took this long trade over here. I didn't take this one because I didn't like the way that it came together. I could draw a trend line down these tops. Um, so we didn't have a higher swing coming into the trade, so I didn't take that one. I did take this one, and it clearly stopped me right out. Um, over here, I got a break even on this trade, which ended up going on to be a win, but you see we had the bubble and the pullback up to the BBC. It didn't put in a lower swing, so there was no looking for trades after that. I took this one on the long side over here. I think I was a little premature in taking that one. Um, it came back, stopped me out, and then went on for this huge long move right here. Now, on this long move, using the divergence from the combo indicator down here, you could have gotten in right over here is one possible place. All right, now, on the way down right here, um, I didn't take this because I didn't like the way that it came together. Again, being able to draw trend lines down the tops, I didn't like the way it came together, so I didn't take that one. All right, um, I did take over here this divergence trade with the close below the MA1, I took that and it stopped me out almost to the tick and then it went down where it should have gone to begin with. I should have actually taken it again right there, but I didn't. Um, then over here we had a bubble and a pullback up to the BBC. It got me short and I got that back. Um, and in here, the same thing, you can see I drew the trend line here. This was the last trend line that I drew during the, uh, during the live trading session this morning, down the tops like that. Okay, but it pulled down and it hit the BBC and it moved up off it. Um, there was another one over here, pulled down, hit the BBC, moved up off it. Um, I just didn't like the way they were coming together, so I didn't trade those. Um, this one here came straight down. All right, it wasn't it wasn't an elongated approach to the BBC, so I took that one and I stopped out on it. Then uh, I took this one over here and I got a break even on that one. And. I think that was it for my morning trading. Well, after after all that, uh, there was this trade right here that happened while Dwayne was talking, and we're just opening the show up. Um, I did take this one right here, but again, it started to fall apart after the fact. So I, I took a break even on that one as well. And right now, we don't have anything. We have some bearish divergence suggesting we're going to move down. But other than that, we don't have anything. Um, so on the morning, on the ES, I am plus one tick after all that trading plus a tick and on the YM I am down seven ticks after just a couple of trades over there alright um, that